Kenta. Kenta. Mitsubishi. Mitsubishi. Mr. Bishy. Kenta. <laughs> Mate, Mr. Bishy. <laughs> One eternity later. Hello, YouTube. All right, we're about 300 k's out of Mount Isa. We've got about, I'm gonna say, 1,500 kilometers, a bit over, under our belt. About uh, 16 hours of driving. Um, and by no means do I think it's enough to give a full review on the canter. But I want to give my initial thoughts on it. Yes, coming from a cruiser, a 200 series that is, to the canter, it is rough. We'll throw up on the screen what um, modifications this car has. But yes, we're going from a wagon to a truck. Purposely, we've gone this way because we want to be able to carry more stuff and we want to go further off the grid. And we wanted a new vehicle. Kristen, you wanted a new vehicle. Ta-da! Um, back to the initial thoughts. So yeah, it is a bit rough, it is. Like, I think it's gonna need a bit of wearing in. We have got the parabolic springs, we got the super singles. I mean, it's only, we've only got 4,000 on the clock at the moment. Sorry, 4,500. So it's gonna be some wearing in. So it is a bit rough. We can um, do a few things to help out with that. Pros, I want to say cab size. I want to say road vision. I want to say storage, carry capacity. Endless, it's endless. There's, just, there's so many pros for us. All right, my initial thoughts on the cons that I can think of. Yes, we talked about it being rough. That is a con. Um, climbing in and out, I'm a bit concerned, not for myself, but maybe for the missus and the kids. Um, I know Cara and Kai will, they'll get a kick out of climbing in, but Bella, uh, I'm worried about it. Maybe even Kai too, accidents waiting to happen. The tray, the Durala tray. Really nice tray, I love it, but size, it's a little bit too big. Now look, Beggars can't be choosers. People are waiting 18 months to two years to pick up these trucks. Um, we started hunting about six weeks ago and we were able to just lucky to pick up this one. Um, picked it up, 3,000 Ks on the clock from a lovely gentleman, Ross, and uh, it, it wasn't suiting his needs. He'd waited two years to get it and by the time he got it, it didn't suit his needs anymore. Um, but yeah, back to the tray, sorry. It's 3.7 meters long. So I'm a bit concerned once we hook up the van that it's gonna come a little bit close. It overhangs the tow ball. So that's one con, you know. Also the width of the tray. It is 24.50 wide. It's huge. You can fit like six pallets on the back. It's got tie down points built into the tray rated that's amazing that's great underneath the canopy you've got your uh, twist lock anchor points as well for if, you, if we get a slide like they are pros but the size of the tray is a con yeah i'm a bit concerned about that but like i said beggars can't be choosers but i just wanted to give you my initial thoughts um yeah let's see what the family thinks of it 
older, for those of you who don't know, we are the life of Riley, a family traveling Australia, just trying to live our best lives. For the last seven months, we've been exploring the East Coast with our 19 foot JK Journey Outback and our 200 series Land Cruiser Greybeard. Old Greybeard. What a rig. So powerful, so comfortable, and so faithful. Well, most of the time. Anyway, but now meet Mr. Bishy. Look at What is it? A fucking amphibian. Fucking amphibian. No, Kathy. It's a four wheel drive Fuso Canter. Meet Mr. Bishy. Look at that. 3700 by 2450. That's how wide that bad boy is. Look how far it sticks out past the cab. Holy shit! Look at it, look how far it sticks out from the wheels. Oh man. Look how far it sticks past the tow ball! Oh my god! We're gonna have to do some modifications, big time. This ain't gonna work for off-road or for towing a caravan. I don't even think we can, we can't even fit this in a car park. We're definitely going to have to do some modifications. One day later. Here's the truck, here we go. Look at this. We've enlisted the help of old Jimmy B. Look, he don't even want to be known, but here's the truck. Buy a truck one day, chop a truck the next. What do you reckon? <laughs> the tray was extremely large, it was terrible. But let's get into it. All right, this is what we're up to. You can see that we've cut those aluminium chassis, the rails bolted to the chassis, cut them all back. We're getting right down to the nitty gritty now. We're about to uh, start cutting this tray up. And what do we have over here? What, what happened, mate? You get a flat tire, hey? Hey, what happened? <laughs> she throws like a girl, literally. <laughs> oh my god, that was. I know. I, <laughs> what? <laughs> Alright, let's get back to the tray. That's enough entertainment out of Andrew. <laughs> yeah, look at that. Jimmy, you're a surgeon with the circular saw. You're up next. <laughs> yeah, we'll record me on it. It's gonna be a fucking oh nightmare. Nah, she'll be right. But look at that. You can see the difference that we're gonna have. Oh, it's gonna be nice and slim. We might even be able to see the fucking back of the tray with the side mirrors now. Might be able to see the caravan. <laughs> And you can see that we were literally sitting out here from the tow ball. It's fucking crazy. This is not my fault. Exciting episode of The Life of Riley.